Kevin O'Keefe was a trial lawyer for 17 years in rural Wisconsin before catching the social media bug. He successfully marketed his own firm on the Internet in such a positive way that USA Today said, if O'Keefe isn't careful, he may wind up giving lawyers a good name. He's CEO and publisher of Lexblog, a professional blog network of some 1,500 lawyers, and now one of the world's leading authorities on the legal profession and social media. We're honored that he joined us in conversation on our recent trip to Toronto. <laughs> Take it away, Omar. Hi, everyone. We're here today with Kevin O'Keefe. My name is Omar Haredi. I'm an articling student here in Toronto. Gary Wise of Wise Law Blog. Michael Karabash, DynamicLawyers.com. And for those of you who don't know, Kevin is uh, what we would call, I think quite generously, the guru of online marketing and, and blogging and the legal uh, community online. And, and many of us look up to him in a lot of ways because he's a pioneer and one of the earliest ones to really make some gains in this area. I think I'm looking up to you, Arthur. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the beauty of being online is that we're all the same height, right? So, yes, that's true. Kevin, well, you, maybe you could just explain a bit about your background in social media and blogging and um, how you came to be in Toronto today. Yeah, well, you know, I'm a lawyer of 30 years and I practiced for 20 years. I've been involved in uh, helping lawyers network through the internet uh, for uh, you know, relationship building and engaging people for about the last 10 or 12 years. I'm here in Toronto because I'm uh, presenting to a group of uh, international law firms, boutique law firms that uh, have an association that uh, is meeting here in Toronto beginning tonight and continuing through the weekend and I'll be on some panels on Saturday morning speaking on Saturday afternoon. And you hosted a rather fabulous event tonight for Toronto's bloggers. Yeah, we do. Um, one of the good, good pleasures that I have is when I travel around the country, or obviously around North America, is to uh, just get word out through LinkedIn or through uh, clients um, that I'm hosting up here for bloggers. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It, it brings people together. I mean, I think you guys mentioned tonight that you know, more than one person said, you know, I'm not certain if I would have sent this out to even people in Toronto that I would have got this many people. It's ironic that it took somebody from it's, Seattle coming it's together. It's a Canada <laughs> thing. It takes the Americans to bring together. You know, like somehow together. get this thing together. But it, it, it's happening. I mean, yeah. that, uh, you know, from a business development standpoint for Lexbug, you know, what better way for me to get together with people that are well-known in their community, they're influencers. Yeah. So, you know, you guys are well-known by lots of people. A lot of people follow what you're doing. Um, you know, we get together and we share some beers. Um, People get to meet each other, you know, and uh, as lawyers, you know, good lawyers get a third of the work from other lawyers. Um, so get out and meet people. Now, Kevin, when did you start? Where are you at and where are you headed? You know, I don't know when I started, but, uh, you know, when I started was really in 1996, just answering people's questions online. I realized that the internet was not about a broadcasting tool, it was about an engagement tool, it was about building relationships with people. Uh, give of yourself, uh, you could have everything else you wanted. So that led me from practicing law, where I was getting work by engaging people uh, through the internet to starting a different company. And uh, this company was started in uh, 2004, after beginning to blog in 2003, just to share those things that I thought were important to flourish. When did you actually have your first website? Uh, 96, I guess. Um, but it wasn't really, you know, I, you know, I probably looked at the, the internet differently than other lawyers. Uh, one, I, I looked at it as something that I should give of myself, but I also looked at it as not a way to necessarily save money. So, you know, I own my own law firm, um, had one lawyer, you know, a couple paralegals, an assistant. You know, I know that I needed to look professional. So my content on my website was all about answering questions on AOL, but I was willing to go spend $16,000 on graphics from a nice advertising company because I didn't want to look poor. Mm -hmm. I needed to look very professional when I got online, and, and I knew there was a fine line between somebody coming and seeing, okay, this is a, you know, make your own type of thing, or it's going to be very nice. So that, that was a, In that day, that was pretty advanced thinking, not just for well, legal websites, but <clears throat> generally that, that was quite but a to me, it, 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 didn't, it really wasn't that advanced. I mean, if I was going to have a good law firm, um, I was going to have to have nice offices. If I was going to have to be a good law firm, I was going to have mm -hmm. nice letterhead. Um, you know, uh, it, it was about what we did as lawyers. I didn't I dressed the same. I still wore jeans as a lawyer and a sport coat, except when I went to court. But if you came to my offices, they were very, very nice and very upscale. I wasn't looking to save money there. If I was hiring people, I wanted to pay them 
as much as they would be paid anywhere because I wanted people to be proud about what they were doing and I wanted people to have the best. If I was going to have a website, <clears throat> what would have to look good? So who would I use? I would use a, an advertising company that was doing work for Microsoft and Betty Crocker and all of us who did high quality work. They hadn't done websites before, but they found it intellectually stimulating to work with somebody that was going out and using the internet. Um, now maybe I was stupid, maybe I should have done something at less expense, but I saw what my associate could do with his own website and it didn't turn me on. Mm -hmm. I needed something that was very engaging. Um, I think doing that and investing in myself that, that paid off because you know, I had people drive from 200 miles away in 1996 in a small town in Wisconsin that said, you're my lawyer. And I said, well, why? Well, mm -hmm. because you're answering our questions. You're not my question, but you're speaking with us. Now, I don't think it was just the content. I think it was the, the imagery that was prevented, presented at that time. It was with lifestyles. It wasn't about lawyers. You know, I was probably... I had, I had a website that did different things. One was a Frank Lloyd Wright motif because that's where I was in the, in the Midwest. Prairie School, the construction of ideas, building things up for foundation. When I started Prairie Law, which was a community of people helping people, lawyers and lay people alike, what was that? It didn't have pictures of lawyers. It had pictures of people. It had pictures of people sitting on porches. It had people who were sitting, you know, pushing grandkids on swings because that's how they envisioned their life. So. All I looked at is the internet was to get out and engage people. Don't ask people to come in to our environments as lawyers. They don't like us anyway. So Kevin, these days, instead of people going and finding the marketing company that Microsoft is using, they're coming and knocking on your doors and asking you how to set up their law firm website. Maybe tell us a little bit about the company that you're running and why it is that people would come seek their services, seek those advertising services from you directly. Yeah, and I don't view what we do as advertising. So. You know, we don't do websites per se. You know, we're, we're assisting people to network through the internet. Mm -hmm. So if I'm meeting, you know, a large law firm here in Toronto, you know, who has the most to gain from me meeting with them? The, the lawyers that understand that their work comes by virtue of relationships. So if you walked into Austin or Steichman or even, you know, a small civil practitioner that did estate planning and you asked them, okay, how does your work come? You know, so, you know, it, if you took a, a large firm, you could say, okay, six or eight percent of the lawyers bring ninety-five percent of the work in. You know, the other five hundred lawyers, they're not originators; um, they don't have the relationships. But if you ask that six or eight percent, how does your work come? They would say relationships. Certainly. And how did you get those relationships? Why well, had a network? Well, did you go out on the street, you know, on the Bay Street, and just talk with everybody? No, I went to the associations where my clients, prospective clients, were gathered. So. What Lexbox is doing is basically breathing life to that and saying, okay, you can engage people online. You can listen to the conversation where the thought leaders are. You can go where your clients are, your prospective clients are, the influencers of them. And we'll teach you what that means um, to do that. And by virtue of doing that, you're going to build relationships. And you're going, to, you're going to further enhance your relationships with your clients. You're going to build relationships with your prospective clients. You're going to build relationships the reporters, bloggers, association leaders. <clears throat> so, Lexbox gets all over me and you think, well, gee, we're an internet company, how do you get your work? Um, it's all word of mouth. You know? So, our work comes via word of mouth. It's driven by virtue of people that see what we do or hear what we do um, or may see the things that I'm talking about online. But it's all word of mouth. People unilaterally contact us and I'm going to go out and see if they're a good person for us to try to help. <laughs> OMG Law Talk is a joint presentation of Wise Law Blog, Dynamic Lawyers, and OmarHaredi.com.